traditional media time again, everyone. We're reviewing this time the sequel to Axiom's End. Truth of the Truth of the Divine. Which Mom kept confusing for Axiom's End, but as you will see in this review, Axiom's End was a far better book. Do not confuse this with Axiom's End. I have nothing against the author. I just feel that she wasn't on her A-game that day. It was kind of, she must have read a half day. Someone told her that killing off characters and and turning the other characters into buttholes was a fun thing to do. Yeah, that's basically this book in a nutshell. If you enjoyed anything from Axiom Sense, I mean anything at all, this book flips it, flip, flipped it on its ear, full show. Like, it tried to flip it on its ear. I mean, you like Nils from the last book? Well, Nils is now like a frumpian asshole. You like the fact that it's family friendly? Not no more it ain't. Seriously, this book I would not have given to my little nephew. The other book, oh absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt, I would have given it to a, a little kid and said, well, not little, maybe 13, but I would have given it to a young a teenager or a preteen. It was family friendly. This one had scenes of the characters making love, which I don't. And Lindsay has a way of writing that, that she's always very graphic. It was wonderful in the last one with big action scenes, but this felt like, especially during the lovemaking scenes. Yes, I said scenes. There was more than one. Um. And she kills off the male part of the love making scenes because we can't have you get attached to the, the pre the characters that aren't Korra. I almost said previous characters, but that's not true. Kabe wasn't in the previous book. I like Kabe. Ave was, at first I thought it was supposed to be a beautiful love story, but if it's a beautiful love story, why not have Ampersand bring them back? That's my question to the, to the author. Why not, he is your character, why not have Ampersand bring him back? But, spoiler alert, Kave dies, like, at the very end of the book. So, don't get attached to the new characters either. Um, I like the realism in it that, that the government wasn't exactly willing to pay Cora's medical bills from the last book. And he, she was having trouble. Coping with the stress of life.
without going into too much detail, I I can tell you that they establish what that what that mindset is like really well, which. Yeah. But if that's all you got, it's not a sequel to Axiom's End. The Axiom's End is very enjoyable. It's kind of like why I don't like, why I like The Hobbit, but don't like Lord of the Rings. I like The Hobbit because it shows the hero overcoming something. I don't like Lord of the Rings because it drags on too long. I never made it to Return of the King, shocker, but um, just it felt like Tolkien was working through something, and it feels like Lindsay was working through something in this book too. Would I love to see a sequel? With Kave and Nils from the first book explaining how he was under, I don't know, president, a certain president's control from real life. Yeah, I would. I'd still like to see. I think a sequel would wrap it up real nicely. But. I don't believe that sequel's ever going to happen. I'm not holding my breath. I'm not going to say... I think we're more... not going to say, Oh, the movement starts here. No. I think we're more likely to get a sequel to, like, 1984 than we are to a sequel to... End the Axiom End trilogy. Yeah. Um. What I. I really didn't. What I really didn't like. As well. Is that the aliens weren't immune to this darkening of reality. They bring in a new fascinating character, Nikolai. Name that way because of Tesla, Nikola Tesla. Nikola, sorry. Not Nikolai. Nikola. Test. And, um, the new character points out that that the Obelisk will come the Megatron from the last one. Because I compared him to Megatron and Optimus Prime. The Megatron from the last one, Obelisk, I couldn't think of his name in the prior video, but I was reminded enough times here. Obelisk will find them, them meaning the humans, and destroy them. Eventually, we will progress far enough that he will take notice. And if he doesn't, the whole rest of the species may. We don't know that, though. So, Nicola, of course. is very optimistic despite having this 
this view online. But he kills a bunch of humans at the end, and it's like, of course, why would the aliens be abused? Everybody but Ampersand is behaving different. Cora, maybe it was always there. Maybe underneath the girl who was listening to Black Eyed Peas, there was always someone who, who wanted to self-harm, but at the same time, you get the Ampersand's weighing on her. And it's like, at the end, you wonder, is everything going to turn out okay? And like I told you, it felt like she was leading up to a third book that's never going to be there. I mean, again, I, I walked away with Plenty of questions, and I can't imagine some of this wasn't wasn't because of the fact that real world events kind of led into some of what was fictional at the time, but it reads different now. I still wonder what what certain real life characters would be doing, like that, like President Trump, in this book. For the third book, I'd like her to address it, but I I don't think she's going to. Like I said, I think YouTube scared her away from being in the public eye. And I don't think we're ever going to get a third book of X Men, which is a real shame. So all all the dreams that went unfulfilled about Kave ever coming back, the guy in this one. The one that Cora may have been in, into will forever be that. They will they will forever be unanswered dreams. And that that makes the book even darker that he gets his article published, he gets his happy ending, but at the very end you have to appreciate that it is kind of bittersweet because Kave is, again, not a lot. Why did you see it? They um, talk about his family, but none of those characters will, would matter even if there was a third book. It, it simply would just not. If this was a comic, I, I would give it two stars. Easy. It's nothing to uplift the media. The first book, you can show to almost anyone. This would be a very select group. That's my thoughts on Axiom Zen. It's not always bad to get political in your books, folks, but you have to be very, very careful. You can't just say, revolution! <sighs> Lindsay, if you're watching this, which I doubt you ever will, but if you're watching this, Make the third book more like Axiom's End. Truth of the Divine was kind of... It 
was too too fast paced and too dark at the same time. Very Frank Miller of you, but uh, Frank Miller's a very quite so sweet. Not everybody can be Frank Miller. That's all I gotta say. Bob out. Not gonna talk about the bombing scene or any of that. Just about. <laughs>